I'm Rusty Ward, and you're in the Ward Room. Members of both houses are outraged by a recently discovered torture memo which legally declared Vice President Dick Cheney's basement a CIA black site. Apparently, for the past four years, the Vice President has been detaining terrorism suspects in his own home and interrogating them in his free time. The Red Cross spoke with one of these detainees. He asked if he could be transferred back to Abu Ghraib, where he was treated more humanely. When confronted by reporters, Mr. Cheney assured them that there was nothing sinister about his basement. He said he was more than willing to show them, but stated his cellar stairs were very narrow and each person would have to come down with him one at a time. None of the reporters accepted this offer. Despite the vice president's denials, other evidence has surfaced that supports these accusations. Google Earth released a statement saying that they stopped showing views of Mr. Cheney's home, not for national security purposes, but because they were just too horrible. Also, popular horror director Eli Roth admitted that Dick Cheney co-wrote the script for Hostel Part 2. There have also been reports that Mrs. Cheney often joins her husband in the basement and refers to these sessions as their special time together. When asked to comment on this, Mrs. Cheney said there was nothing suspicious about her husband's activities. She stated that millions of Americans have converted their basements into personal workshops equipped with vices, table saws, and dentist chairs with arm restraints. Mr. Cheney's next-door neighbor, Ted Anderson, told police that there were more than just terrorists held in the cellar. He said when he looked in the basement window, he also saw a White House staffer, a Jehovah's Witness, and Ted's dog. Mr. Anderson was invited on this program, but unfortunately was killed this morning when he was accidentally chained between two tractor trailers and pulled in half.